fresh to death. I cut his hair before he went out, and you know we goofed off a lot about you know him having his fresh cut, and you know he did a thing where he rubbed his head like this before the rain. I have to. What up, what up? Hey, welcome to the channel with the Fergus Ninja. Hey, coming at you today with not so much a review as a story. Now, thinking back to 2008, when Usain Bolt burst on the scene, nobody knew who he was, and he just popped on the scene. Uh, I mean, that was one of the most iconic moments that I can remember in my lifetime. I put it up there with, essentially, uh, Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston, Hank Aaron, Bacon, uh, breaking Babe Ruth's home run record. Um, I mean, all the iconic standstill moments that you can imagine in a sporting event where sheer greatness was on display. Now, that happened in these Olympics to where, I mean, a 100 meter dash where essentially the best in the world, not just even in a country, in the world. And at 80 meters, you put your arms out and the last five meters beating on your chest sideways and still break the record for the fastest time. And I'd say all that, you know, as far as the story pertains to say, I found out actually a fragrance he was wearing during those Olympics. And that was Lacoste. I don't know I'm from Lacoste, keep them fresh, you know what I'm Now, fresh. this particular fragrance, uh, it is, it was intriguing. It is apples and a thuja tree. Now, thuja tree, I'm like, what the heck does that smell like? Well, a green mossy tree that smells like apples. So, apple overload. But all in all, this fragrance smells sporty and smells like apples, greenish apples, but pretty much just a, a nice, fresh, sporty fragrance. Came out in 2004. Uh, not very expensive. I think I picked this uh, 4.2 ounce up for less than $30. And it was just so basically ironic to think that, scratch all that, the beauty and fragrance is it can transport time and moments. And that, when I saw that he basically was wearing this fragrance, I had to have it because this was the fragrance that basically framed that moment to me. I mean, one of that, that great moment was framed and related to fragrance in a beautiful way. And so when that happened, of course, I'm picking it up. Now, the downside is that, I mean, it's plenty of jokes and funniness when you think that he was so far ahead that as the other opponents were trailing him, this is what they smell. But honestly, chances are, depends on when he sprayed it and when he got to the track, Eh, you might not have smelt it because honestly it lasts possibly you know four hours it's really light fresh fragrance that's good for the moment you can't over spray this this is pleasant to everyone but not gonna just wow anybody but it, it's a good nice neutral as far as not polarizing scent this is mainstream fresh apple fruity slight woods but just it's, it's a good fragrance it's really a good fragrance but this now has a sentimental kind of place in my collection well i'll always have this one because this whenever i spray it on i spray it on when i'm working out i spray it on like when i'm doing anything physical as far as exertion because i know it's just a freshie and it, it fits those moments so i understand why he chose this as he was running 100 meters and 200 meters in which he set the record in both that year. But uh, like I say, just a quick story. Just wanted to let you know what I would found out and kind of a new fragrance I picked up and what I thought about it. Yeah, style and play Lacoste. But hey, that's all I got until next time. Y'all be good.